right now. The watchful eye of Big Brother will soon be keeping track of crime in the Glass City. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. Sean is on assignment tonight. Surveillance cameras and real-time crime are how Toledo police are taking a proactive approach to deterring crime. Fox Toledo's Jennifer Stepp joins us now live with when we can expect to see these cameras in operation. Well, the Toledo Police Department still has to go through the bidding and proposal process, as well as getting approval from Toledo City Council to purchase them. But Chief Derek Diggs expects them to be in operation in months. Chief Derek Diggs has been the top cop in Toledo for 40 days. In that time, he's dealt with 11 homicides. While he says that is a large number in a short period of time, all 11 have been solved. He says thanks to the quality detective work and a new data-driven policing model. It started the first day I took over, and basically this data-driven initiative is about utilizing technology and collecting data to assist us in how we deploy our officers and assist our officers' investigative strategies and so on and so forth. A big part of that is the addition of 75 surveillance cameras, trailers, security software, and monitoring equipment to be installed in a real-time crime center. Marked and unmarked cameras will be positioned throughout the city, including cameras that have what I call gunshot detection systems, which is focused on the site of potential gunshots being fired in particular locations. The total cost for the equipment ranges from $800,000 to $1.2 million, a cost Chief Diggs says is small in comparison to the impact it will bring to Toledo. Our department must continue to advance technologically in order to assist the citizens of our community. The information collected and analyzed regarding crime patterns and trends will help to deploy available resources more effectively and hopefully over time will deter further crime. Well, the cost of the equipment is not coming from the city's general fund. In fact, it will come from the department's law enforcement trust fund. That's money and assets confiscated through criminal investigations. Reporting tonight, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News.